If you're a movie buff, you, you have to appreciate the idea and the dynamic that the, the overall film grudge match brings to the table, you know? Uh, two men, two men who, who clashed at a younger age and have kind of just left it open for people to decide and talk about forever that revisit that at the older ages of, of whatever they are. I don't even know the established age that we gave Sly and Bob, but you know, for these guys to come back and fight again, not only is it unheard of, but you know, it's, it's something that's kind of interesting, you know, as a, as a fan. The thought of seeing these two guys collide and fight is enough to entice you to go and see the film. And for me to be a part of it and watch the film process, I was just curious as, you know, these guys at their age, how are they going to make it look real? How's it going to be believable? And I'd be damned if they didn't do a great job of it. They both came in amazing shape. Uh, I was thoroughly impressed with, with Bob's stamina yesterday uh, from going through the boxing rounds and really giving it his all, from taking the hits to the ground and, and going by and doing the physicality of the grabbing. I was, I was impressed, and I learned a lot about men who respect their craft uh, and, and take it very serious. So I looked at two professionals, and I understand why they are where they are and why they have what they have. He's about money, he's about, he's about uh, progress, and uh, the only way that he knows how to do it is to, uh, you know, to kind of to mislead, uh, mislead, put people in positions where they're not necessarily supposed to win, but if it's an advantage for Dante, he'll take it. What I appreciate is that neither one of them shied away from going for the jokes. You know, Pete came with great ideas and they both took them and they both thought the best of them. They both made the best of them. And like I said, you know, for this, it's more of an education of anything for me. You know, I'm a sponge. So when I surround myself with people who have a certain aura, I feel like I'm supposed to take something away from it. And I, I, I definitely took a lot away from this. I don't care how big you get, you should never have an ego. You should never be too big to try. And uh, both of these men tried everything that was suggested to them, which was amazing. Pete's amazing. Pete Siegel's amazing. I mean, you know, uh, I've been very fortunate enough to work with directors who allow me to bring things to the, to the table and to the script. And in this particular movie, Pete was all about me trying things. And, and Bob and Sly, the same, were, were all about letting me try things and, and, and literally bringing different levels of funny to the table. So you, you have to take your hat off to the people around you because if you don't have a good cast to work with, no matter how funny you're being, it doesn't matter if people don't allow you the opportunity to, to get it there or to do it.